I'm going home to New Zealand uh, two days time, but home's always going to be here as well. So our hearts aren't really divided. They're united around those twin ideas of being from Ireland, from Kerry, but also from New Zealand. And all the other peoples of the diaspora, from America, from Australia, from Singapore and Dubai, wherever we go, we carry Kerry in our heart. And we'll remember the way you welcomed us home. You'll be pleased to know that the Brosnans who went to New Zealand became one with the people of that land too. So my cousin Tom here, come for Tom, Tom, and Rita and Queenie here, they're Tangata Whenua people of New Zealand. They're Maori people, but they're also Kerry people. A New Zealand tradition now. They will sing for me. <laughs> We decided for, to have a Brosnan gathering about in last October. We were trying to think of what clan best represented our area and having looked at the top 10 clans from this area in the past, we felt Brosnan was the one that had the greatest link to this area. So we decided to go with that one. We thought that um, we would have a small to medium crowd, but this is a huge crowd. So it's after all the hard work that we put in, uh, we're delighted with this. We have a party of 16 Brosnans from uh, New Zealand whose ancestor immigrated from East Kerry in 1856, uh, went to New Zealand, married in New Zealand, had a large family, each of whom had large families in turn, and they founded a town in New Zealand and it's called Kerry Town. We have people from America, Canada, a couple from Dubai, a couple from Singapore, people from the UK, and you know, it's, it's, it's the trip of a lifetime for a lot of them. We had a full programme of events. They commenced on Thursday morning with a genealogical workshop. They've all been very good in very different ways and they've all been very well supported. I suppose it's very heartening to see the crowd here tonight, so I suppose maybe the banquet will ultimately be the, the penultimate event of the, of the season. We're in the Greater Shreve Lucre area, so we have the tradition of the, the, the music uh, tradition, uh, a lot of archaeological sites and monuments in the area, Castle Island itself, a medieval town, a lot of medieval church sites in the surrounding area. So yeah, it has a lot of culture and heritage, um, untapped culture and heritage, I suppose, that I'd say to offer. Mm. I suppose this area here is not an area that is traditional for tourists to come to. So by bringing people from all over the world for the Brazilian Clan Gathering, it opens it up to a whole other tourist market that wouldn't have been uh, there before because up to now it would have been Killarney, Kinmare and Dingle and areas like that, those areas of Kerry that people flock to. So we're hoping to change all that and bringing them to East Kerry for a change. We want to show them that we have to offer maybe slightly different things uh, in terms of the culture and heritage that's here that nobody is, is aware of and we're trying to make everybody aware of it now. Yeah.